Hello guys, in this movie I will show you the process of building the Poly DP7 battery with 21700 cells. I'll be using uh, Samsung uh, 48E batteries with a capacity of uh, 4800 mAh. I'm building a 48 volt battery configuration, in other words uh, 13S. And here you can see the schematics, layout of cells and this uh, metal plates connecting all cells together. So here is like you know first row, not welded yet. And here is the rest of them. And for this battery, I'll be using uh, latest uh, BMS smart BMS from Jaibada with integrated antenna in the board can see it over here so this is like the smallest uh, shape factor or size factor for the smart BMS's on the market right away now and the good thing is that you can uh, configure this BMS for different type of voltages starting from 10s up to 14s max current capable uh, to provide from this BMS is 30 amps which is nominal, and the peak, as I remember, is around twice this value. So as you can see, I have all the tools prepared for this job. Well, the welder is turned on. So now it's just time to weld everything together, and I will show you how it looks like afterwards. You can see all metal plates welded in place. Here is the quality of welds. You can see, very nice, professional looking, almost like from factory. Here's the second size. So now I just need to secure the exposed metal connectors with this carton tape. And then I can start soldering all the cabling. Now we can see the BMS connected to the battery. In the front you can see the balancing cables, here are the switch button cables, this black wire is the main negative power supply cable, the blue one, so that the black one goes to the main negative terminal of the battery, and here is the second side of the balancing cables. So that's how it looks like. Here's the temperature probe. There are two probes. One is built in in the BMS. And this one external. So that's it. And now I need to connect the box terminals. The job will be finished. Okay folks, as you can see battery is completed, all cables are soldered. So here are the uh, main discharge cables going to the main battery connector. These are charging lines. Since this is a BMS with uh, same discharge and uh, charge port, and these uh, charging cables can be connected to the main discharge lines. Here is the voltage indicator. Battery is like half charged. Here's the cabling for the switch. And here is the application. So you can see the status of the battery. So here is the temperature, the voltage, total voltage. And you can see the voltage on each uh, cells group. So as you can see, all the cells are very well balanced, coming directly from the factory. So there is no job for BMS to equalize the voltages between them. Alright, so that's all what I would like to say here. I just need to put the box back in place and battery is finished. So thanks for watching this movie guys. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye bye.